So what is up guys, Kelly Kevin today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda on our website this week. This is going to be episode 220 within my series, but without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. For our first spot within this video is going to be the Latimer's Shaman Armour. Coming in at 74 megabytes of a download, the Ledimer's Shaman armor description reads, added armor for the male and female, two different complete separate armors, which is really nice to see as well. So it's nice to cater between two different genders. Also for this one, the load order preference or position is before any body mods that you do have. And you can craft this one under the hide section. For this armor, you do get the armor itself, the boots, the cat gloves and the robes. Very nice mod to see as well. Perfect for anyone who is building or wants to build a shaman themed character within the world of Skyrim. There's also a ton of other different mods that we have done this week, which would be absolutely perfect for this particular set of armor. I do believe it was episode 216 or 17. We did cover a lot of mods to cater towards people who do want to fall into that sort of druid build, shaman build, either one of those, which would be absolutely perfect. Go and have a watch of that one if you haven't looked already, because there's definitely some awesome ones to pair with this finesse little bit of gear. For the second spot within this video is going to be the Sneak Tree Remade, coming in at 3.1 kilobytes of a download. Modifications to the Sneak Tree for a more natural progress, plus removal, combining improvement of perks. Mod features, stealth, unchanged, silent roll, functions the same, required 40 stealth. Muffled movement is unchanged. Light foot, functions the same, requires 55 sneak. Silence, functions the same, requires 75 sneak. Shadow Warrior, crouching while in combat grants you invisibility for 5 seconds, required is a 100 sneak. Sneak attacks, sneak attacks with any weapon do 6 times the amount of damage, required 50 sneak, and sneak attack rank 2, sneak attacks with any weapon do 15 times the amount of damage as well, requires 65 sneak. Disclaimer of this mod, this mod is designed for expert if not high difficulty in the vanilla base game. Very nice to see this little switch, if not change up to do with the sneak perk. If you wanna be an optimized, if not a great assassin, this is gonna be an absolute brilliant mod for you to grab for such an incredibly low download size. For the third spot within this video is going to be Collect Dragon Moans and Scales, coming in at 30.7 kilobytes of a download. This mod will allow you to take Dragon Bones and Scales from Burial Mounds. If you activate a Burial Dragon Mound, it will contain one Dragon Bone and one Dragon Scale. The mound will respawn just like any other container in the vanilla world. There are no clues to where these are located. You must explore them and find them yourselves. You can also craft Dragon Heart Scales at a forge using one Dragon Scale. The recipe will appear if you have the Carvozin's Fang within your infantry. For the panorama spot within the video is going to be Riftra Manor coming in at 5.2 megabytes of a download. Welcome to Riftra Manor. This mod adds a home just beside Riverwood. The manor comes with its own custom song when you do enter into this beautiful establishment. If you do not hear any of the music upon entrance, just simply leave and re-enter to get that working ASAP. But the interior and the exterior of this player home is absolutely brilliant and last updated of the 11th of this month, the 11th of April 2018. Added a big room to the establishment, added a few different fixes to do with the lighting, added a little bit more detail to some particular areas within and within without the home, added the effects of S1 and S2 rooms, added a roof deck, a grindstone, added a few new mini toys like statues, a couple of other different bits and bobs, some obviously some crazy things inside and outside of this particular player home too. Overall, very nice indeed. If you want a small player home located right next to a Riverwood, this is definitely going to be a steal for 5.2 megabytes of a download. And for the last spot within this video is going to be a Bernard Scops War Bow. Hopefully I said that correctly. Apologies if I didn't, but 47 on the dot megabytes of a download. The features of for this one is going to be a double limbed bow, a war bow featuring high quality models and textures and an approximately mix of 4K and 2K resolutions. It can be crafted and upgraded in several steps, changing the appearance and the stats 
tempered and enchanted will change and alter the effects of this bow which I really do like as well I'll hopefully show that with some footage on screen now there are three upgrades and two paints on the last step you craft them at the forge with the previous bow and the same with extra materials stacking on top of each other to eventually get to the end tier bow they are all the same but they do come in obviously different tiers different attributes for those and the required materials are on screen now now, if not, they will be a full synopsis on everything if you download the mod yourself. But if you want to check it out beforehand, there is a fully detailed sort of requirements, what it, the color will look like and all the attributes you will get with each corresponding bow all the way from one to four. Very nice indeed. Really did enjoy this one. It's a new and nice breath of fresh air to the archers that are out there roaming Tamriel. Definitely would highly recommend trying this one again. A moderate download size for a bow, but justification with the model's textures and for the tier leveling too. So guys, that's the end of this episode. This has been episode 220 within my series. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, I'd very much appreciate a like on the video. If you're new around here too, make sure to click that subscribe button. Click the little bell right next to it to get post notifications for every single time I upload a video to the channel. Guys, if you want to go above and beyond, Patreon links are down in the description. If you want to help me out further, you want to ask me any questions, I have a Twitch channel which we are breathing some new life into. A mixed variety of games at the moment it's kind of playing fortnite i don't want to interrupt the content on this channel that is why i'm playing over there head over there whenever i'm live if you want to see what i am follow me on twitter if not the actual site itself twitch.tv forward slash twitch killer kev but until the next one guys killer kev here and get a game out